Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we'll be doing a little bit of something different. I'm gonna be giving you the updated uh, attributes, perks, equipment, and whatnot stance, everything involving my creative player, okay? If I miss out on anything, just let me know in the comment section, but I'm gonna do my best to give you everything on how I got my creative player the way he is, okay? Um, because I keep, the reason why we're doing this is I keep getting questions, because you guys from my first video have noticed some different changes and whatnot uh, from the attributes that I originally had, okay? So with that being said, I figured we might as well just do this video instead of just keep answering questions in the comment section. Just try to give you this video to give you a better understanding, okay? But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. Leave a like on the video and in the comment section below. Let me know if I missed out on anything with my creative player, okay? Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow through platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free, okay? All right. Now, let's quit talking and get into showing you my creative player. All right. So first things first, I have my creative player at catcher now, okay? I've had him there for a while and whatnot. So in the way to do that, uh, to change it between creative players, he's the same creative, he's the same one as my first one. The contact tool shed, nothing changed from that first one, okay? But if you want to change it between um, your creative players, you just got to go out of, out of the menu, back to the top over here. You go to manage, creator, ball player, and then you can go to either of these two, right? You're going to have all these ball players here, create a new ball player and whatnot, so on and so forth if you want to create a new one. Now, like I said, this is my catcher cap, this is my shortstop cap. They're, all, they're both the same build, the both the same, the contact tool shed, which right there, contact tool shed, okay? All right, so uh, before I had a fielding perk and, a, um, and clear for takeoff in the first one. Now, my creative player, we're gonna go ahead and show you my attributes for him real quick for my catcher, okay? They're a little bit different between catcher and shortstop. We're just gonna go ahead and take a look at my cap stats as a catcher through here. So as you can see, he's got 125 contact versus both, 117 power versus both, 113 vision, 83 fielding, 82 arm, 73 reaction, and 80 speed, okay? So very balanced hitting wise, obviously pretty much maxed out contact, or has maxed out contact, almost maxed out power. Uh, fielding's at a low gold with 82 arms, so not the best arm strength, but he has a decent arm strength. 73 reaction, 80, 80 speed, and 70 stealing. Um, let me just go back real quick. And I think the arm strength could actually be a lot higher, but I don't even think. Okay, yeah, so my arm strength could be 20 points higher because right now it's at 30 instead of the 50 it can be. So he's still missing 30 arm strength. So he could be at 99 arm strength if I had him uh, trained up to the 50, but I don't have him there. So with that being said though, as you saw, the attributes are still really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at like the loadout and whatnot are the perks I have. So I got contact two and then contact one. These both give you plus five contact and uh, it gives me plus five vision on one of them and plus five clutch on the other one. Okay, so two of these, all right? And again, it's contact tool shed. As you see in the bottom right there, contact the tool shed, okay? Uh, and then the pa I have two power perks on them now, power three and power two. I used to have a fielding perk and clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, I took it off because it does not work on online games. It only works for offline games, so like Road to the Show and whatnot, but not in online DD, okay? With that being said, and I gave, I took away a fielding perk because he's still a gold defender behind the plate, and I'm not valuing defense that much. He still has, like I said, gold defense was just fine, perfectly fine enough as a catcher. I don't value defense for a catcher. Don't really care too much for defense behind the plate because all they're doing is just receiving the ball and whatnot, and it's like his blocking is good enough. Um, it doesn't really affect, I, it does a little bit when it comes to uh, throwing the runner out, but that's more arm strength, okay? Uh, so I gave him another, I took away that fielding perk, and I gave him another uh, power perk. So now he has two power perks, okay? So that gets him up to that, gives him that, that extra power boost. Because both of the power perks are uh, plus four, okay? These, all right, so it's power three and power two. Then my equipment, I wear, I have the encoders. They give you plus six vision, uh, plus five reaction, plus six fielding. Compression sleeve, I have the vapor slider sleeve, which actually there's a diamond one, but the, the gold one, the vapor sleeve one, actually has the best arm strength. Uh, ritual, legendary call, gives you the plus eight, plus eight contact and power. 
Wrist guard doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect, it only affects clutch and whatnot. Uh, batting gloves. I got the old, the rhythms, the, the uh, old hickory rhythm. So plus five contact with plus six power and plus mm -hmm. five vision. Then we have the back grip. Uh, you know, you can use the Jackie one, the free, the Lou Gehrig one, any of those. All are the same. All the diamond ones have the same plus four contact and plus four power. All right, so my bat, I actually have, instead of that um, Otani one, now I have this uh, gold, gold stage Otani birch. So I had the Otani bat skin, which gave you the plus eight, plus eight before. Now I have the plus nine power, plus seven contact. The reason why I did that is because I take away contact, still gives me that 125 contact, give me one more power. So, but you can go with the Otani one if you want. Uh, socks, just go with the Jackie Robinson ones. Same thing as buying the diamond socks. Now for the cleats, I have these gold stays that give me the most speed possible with uh, the most reaction possible. Um, leg, uh, shin guard doesn't really matter, leg guard. Then fielding glove, I have the Z9 Maestro because it gives me the best arm with the best fielding combo. Uh, elbow guards doesn't give you anything for any importance. It's just like clutch and whatnot discipline. It doesn't really important. And then obviously catcher's mask, I have this uh, diamond one for the blocking. Uh, chest protector plus five and then the leg guards I have this one because it gives you the best plus three blocking so that's my catcher cap with all the equipment and perks okay so now we're gonna go ahead and change change over to the shortstop one so we put him in the lineup just so you can see his attributes how they're a little bit different from my catcher one okay and we'll see and we'll see why the equipment is still the same the only thing that changes is the perks all right so, 125 contact versus both, the contact's still there. 113 power, as we saw, we lose minus four power, and I'll show you why. We got 112 vision, 87 arm, 99, or sorry, 87 fielding, so his fielding actually went up plus four, 99 arm. This one, I haven't finished all the way, all the way, I, all the training progressions, all the way to 50 on everything. 77 reaction, 80 speed. Okay, so still the same speed. Uh, fielding went up, power went down, and we'll just show you why. It's a quick change, that's all it is. I value fielding more at shortstop. Obviously, it's an important position uh, to have good fielding at, so I value that higher fielding, okay? Um, and the reason why he's a little bit different is simple. Instead of having that extra power perk that gave me plus four more, I took it away, so I took away that minus four, and then we gave him a fielding perk that gives him the 69 field, the plus four fielding. So then he went up to that 87 instead of the 83. And as I can show you, you saw that 99 arm instead of having the 82 arm. And the only reason why that is, is because our creative player shortstop has the training progression all the way to 50, okay? As opposed to my catcher, I only have him at 30, which means it's it's at base, at the base stat line, okay? Um, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, I'd rather have him at um, catcher. Okay, so like I said, the only difference between the shortstop and the catcher cap is that ex is that extra power perk or the uh, fielding perk instead of that power perk. That's the only difference. That's the reason why he's 125, 113 as opposed to 125, 117. But the equipment's still the same and the other perks are still the same, okay? And he's still a contact tool shed. Now, the way we make him into a contact tool shed for another position, let's say you already had a center fielder as a contact tool shed and you wanted to make a catcher, the only thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here up to the top you're gonna go to manage create and you're just gonna create a new ball player and then choose your contact tool shed now when you do do that and you choose a contact tool shed you don't have to start from the beginning as a bronze you already start off as a diamond the only thing is is that you start off with that base the base 30 training progressions at 30 you have to progress them back up to the 50 if not, he's gonna be at that base 30. But at least you already start off with the diamonds and you don't have to do the missions to get him back from bronze to diamond. You start off at the diamond thing, at the diamond. Again, you start off at the diamond. If you're using the same build that you already build up to diamond, the only thing you have to work on is his training progressions, get him up from 30 all the way to 50, okay? That's the only thing you have to do when making a new uh, ball player as a different position, but you're choosing the same exact um, the same exact archetype that you already had chosen and got up to diamond, okay? So that is my updated creative player. That's the reason why he's like that. As you saw, he has two different types of attributes. 
uh, and all based off the perks and what you value. Like I said, I give them that fielding perk instead of an extra power one as a shortstop because I value higher defense. And uh, as a catcher, obviously you give them that power because I don't value defense as much and I value the hitting more, okay? So that's the reason why he's 125, 117 as a catcher and as a shortstop, 125, 113. All right? So anyways, I hope this, guys, this helps you a lot. I explained how to do it, how to change the positions while using the same build. I also explained or showed you all my perks for both my catcher and my creative player. As you saw, he's still contact tool shed. And I told you why I took off uh, clear for takeoff. And then lastly, I showed you all of my updated equipment. Okay. Um, so as you saw, that's how the creative player, my creative player is where he's at. Okay. And then one thing uh, that I didn't mention during while showing him my creative, my creative player stance is Anthony Santander. That has not changed. That has been since day one. Anthony Santander is my creative player stance. Okay. So anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. In the comment section below, just ask me whatever I missed out, whatever you think I missed out on, and I'll answer you right away, okay? Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow three platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.